Welcome back to Demon Souls everyone, we are going to continue in the Tower of Latria where I'm going to pick up the first key, the first of many, many keys because this is a key centric area, uh, there is no other way to say it. Um, so yeah, we're going to continue on, this is the wizard set which is actually not a bad looking set. So yeah, with these cells, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna like take it easy. A lot of them just have like enemies in it and stuff. So I won't bother with all of them. But some of them do contain treasure. Generally, if you don't see anything within it, <coughs> excuse me, it generally means there is nothing there worthwhile. Unlike here, where we have some treasure. This area should be interesting, the rest of it, I mean... It's not my favorite, this place. Design-wise, it's very, very... S oh, fuck. I forgot there's one of these things here. It's one around every corner, really, so... Oh, come on. That does do less damage, though. I, I, I am pretty sure. I just hate the follow-up to it. Um, the thing is, they are... Yeah, and that shit doesn't care about, like... None of your hitboxes, like... Just how it works. What I wanted to do, actually, is... I said this before in the previous episode, that I'm just, like, not using my weapon buffs, and... It's a bit pointless having it if you ain't gonna use it. Plus it looks kinda sick. It applies the sticky white stuff. Oh, look at this dude. Damn, it's just like a normal dude. These used to be like proper zombies. Holy shit, and they're all different. Okay, well. Some of these guys do get vi- oh shit. Okay, now I feel bad. Um, let's not murder these guys anymore because just a little bit too lifelike for my tastes. The previous ones were okay because again, they were basically zombies. But damn, it's fucked up. It's really good that these guys are weak to this type of damage. Isn't this where... Okay, maybe not. And are they like all different? Now there's a couple of types of these prisoner dudes. Some of them will shank you, so you gotta be careful. These ones were showing no mercy too. The rest of them, listen, this is prison life. You gotta watch out in the showers, you gotta be careful. And don't shank me through the fucking metal gates. Great. I uh, have mercury stone here. Mercury stone is the one that gives you poison. Uh, it's not very good. That's all I can say. <laughs> Sorry, bruh. The thing is, they kinda stand in your way. And you know... This is demon souls. Nobody stands in my way. This though is one of the longer areas in the game. This place gets pretty involved. But it seems like I am fairly well equipped to handle whatever. God, this... I'm just taking it in because... Man. As I mentioned in the previous episode, which a lot of people, several people have pointed out, that this is very Bloodborne-like, and again, this just makes me, you know, long for Bloodborne 2. Because you know they'd be able to pull off these kinds of graphics, and that would just be absolutely sick. Bloodborne-style enemy design and area design, 
with these visuals, man. I mean, hopefully Elden Ring is gonna deliver. It looks like it's gonna. I do like all the stuff that's been coming out of Elden Ring. Like the information. And now I've secured, like, I've secured my future here with being able to get a PlayStation 5. Honestly, I was at a point under the impression that, you know, because Elden Ring is coming out next April, that if I get a PS5 by that time, I'll consider myself lucky. It's just how unlikely it seemed, you know. So again, the fact that this is, like, secured... Oh shit! Prison life! Some innocent bystanders might get... Um, ...massacred here. If they do, I do apologize. You know... I am ki kinda sorry. You know, like the BP guy in South Park. Sorry for murdering you with a pickaxe. But hey, <laughs> that's so. Good. And it makes the horror movie noise too. That's a good set. I think you know. I'd rather oh, the assassin mask. I'd rather switch this out actually. Maybe it fits. Hmm. The leggings, not so much. Actually, the official leggings work fairly well here. Ah, the masks, the mask neither. I don't know what mask I should use, honestly. I even need one. Headgear in this game. Yes, there he is. And it poisons you too, the fucker. I'm really hoping I have... Um, oh, shit! Where the hell did you come from? Oh, I hate... That hitbox is a motherfucker, too. Thank fuck I can keep kill them so easily. Oh, no. Please, 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 please. Counteract poison. Okay, so all healed up. Let's go ahead and move on. Um, sorry, I got interrupted there. So I'm gonna, gonna have to... <laughs> always! I Oh, there's... I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I always do this. And I always make a mental note. Like, bruh. There is a gap there and you're gonna fall off. Next time around, I always end up going into it. Whatever, it's not the end of the world. You just have to kind of... Kind of make the little run back. But it's not the end of... Again. It's not the worst thing that could happen. But... Oh, shit. Did you just think about shanking me? So we ain't having none of that. Try to shank me, you get a pickaxe in your back. And the question is, did I pick up the key? I don't think I did. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the main mechanic of this area, the keys. Isn't there one here? Or maybe there's supposed to be? Wait, hold on a second. That wasn't in the original game. Shit, you need a bow and arrow for that, don't you? Yeah, you do. Hmm. That's the one. It's such a, like, it's nearly impossible to see. I thought I saw something there. And that's the one we want. There's an inscription here. Oh, it just says what the key is. So, that I'm pretty sure is a new item. The one that's like hanging there. 
a million percent that wasn't in the original game. Or if it was, I'm like the bl blindest fucking idiot ever. Cool. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can stun lock these guys. If you're quick enough. They're also for sure the best place to farm spice. You don't want to just buy it. These guys uh, drop it fairly quickly. Or frequently, I should say. And they tend to drop the... The more advanced version. Oh, come on. I have no idea if this works. The other Souls games do have this mechanic. Where you can get out of grabs quicker. If you mash L2, L2 and R2, I think. But it's always kind of a mystery in which Souls games actually have this implemented and which of them don't. Because it kind of tends to vary. I think almost all of them have it, but it's a little bit strange. Oh, hey, she's looking a little bit worse for wear than she used to. You kind of have zombified. I don't know if somebody has told you. I was once the wife of nobility and I have some nice things to show. But this is a nice NPC. She has the little telescope, full moon grass. Nice, actually. Expensive, of course. Rapier, wooden catalyst, buckler. Maybe, just maybe, we will trade up our shield. Now I, can stay here for a I think we're gonna. And you know, the buckler isn't that much more amazing, but first of all, it fits our look way better. You gotta keep the fashion souls in mind, I mean, you just kinda have to. What the hell? Oh. Second of all, it should provide slightly better defenses, I think. Even if it just has a little bit more stability and all that. Oh, you can just open this. Sometimes I forget, like, I legit forget what you can and can't open. One of these has a shanker in it too, I know it. But I don't know which one. There's the one. You can't avoid that either. Fine game, fine, okay. You win this time around. You win this round. Dramatic noises. If another one has it, I am swear I'm gonna lose my mind. Can you like hit it to kill? Pretty sure you can't. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I do like the like improved character models. When they fall out of that. Uh, I think that's an Iron Maiden. They fall out of that Iron Maiden and it looks even more hilarious than it ever used to. I mean the thing is the visuals in this area in the vanilla game are extremely muddy. It's one of the main issues of this place. In the original, like I said. Oh shit. Well, I thought what you were supposed to do is hit this, but maybe they just glow. No, that's definitely an item. God damn it. Bro, if you can reach it, just like, you know, just kind of like drag him down, like, like with a meat hook. <clears throat> Absolutely useless, this main character. Yeah, and there's the dude. Mr. Frake. Hey, he's a ghost? Hold on. I never... I don't know if this was like this in the original game. I never noticed that he was... Or he just has bong smoke coming off of him like we do. I mean, he is a magician, so you'd kind of expect it. Like... Listen, you know, you know how they do it. You know he gets down with that. 
Frake. I'm trying not to get lost here. This is locked, right? Yeah, you have to come back here and this is where the... Where you go to kill the dude. The boss respawner. I have no other way to describe him. Who's gonna get a pickaxe shoved into his back? For sure. Not the first enemy that'll have this happen to him. Well, I'm pretty sure none of these cells have anything. Oh, fuck. God, that's slower. That didn't used to be that slow. No, it did used to be that slow. Okay, now that I... Okay, I'm going a bit DSP here. Ignore me. Fuck. God, I hate that. He can just like chain it together. Oh, I'm dead. No. Oh. I messed up. I messed up. Uh, all right. I know I don't normally do this. I said I wouldn't do this on this playthrough, but I think we should do a little edit here. Because this is a fairly long run back. Uh, yeah, let's do a quick edit. Okay, we are in the midst of our run back here, and I completely forgot that there, there are two keys actually here. And these do not open this. It's all good. Like, we can go from here. I'm nearly back uh, where I was, so it's not too much of an issue. I did take a little break in between. So that's, my, that's why there might be a little kind of time delay. At least with the way the lighting looks outside. Oh, that hitbox. That hitbox is the motherfuckers of hitboxes. <sighs> extended. That's what's called an extended hitbox. How oh, this dude. Holy shit, he looks crazy. You are a sane one, are you not? Final Fantasy VII Cloud. But the meth version. Please liberate me from this jail. I have precious little time. Okay, meth cloud, whatever. I've never actually rescued him. Never actually bothered. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Um I think that's the general theme of his quest line. You have to mess around a lot with the world tendency. Uh he does drop a pretty good weapon, uh magic weapon. But that's about it. I feel like it's way too much of a hassle for it to be worth it. Although I could be wrong because there are different quest lines for getting his weapon and just like getting him like rescued or whatever. Mm, and I might be confusing the two. If I am, whatever. This is not a magic build so it doesn't really matter. Either way. Cool. Uh, sent to storage. Yeah, this is the... This always overburdens me. Always, because this is the night set. Which is not a bad set in this game. It looks cool. There ain't no way it's not gonna overburden you. Sorry, little prisoner. Like, they're just too stupid. That's the issue. They knew how to get out of the way. They wouldn't have to die. What the shit is that damage? Are you kidding me? Am I smoking something? What? Okay, stop it.
He's not gonna stop, is he? How did that hit? Okay, excuse me. I feel like I'm slightly being robbed here. Jesus, that damage is insane. Hmm. This guy definitely did not continuously attack non-stop in the vanilla game. I am a hundred percent sure of that. But do I have the solution for you? It's not a solution. I am... okay. Okay, get him to use his magic. What the fuck? Okay, it's dead. Ah, that was really annoying. And I don't know why. His dead enemy is normally... I'm running out of healing items. I'm gonna have to go farming again. That enemy is normally not a problem. Or it's never been a problem. Shit! I was just about to say, isn't there a gap there? And there is. And there is. Okay, we're back. Interesting place to have our bloodstain. Luckily, and this is again the lucky thing, is that you basically have to fight no enemies on the way back here. Uh, you can just run past everybody. As is tradition with any good Souls game. What would a Souls game be if it wasn't possible to run past like 90% of the enemies? Cool. And this is where we need to go. The way forward. Uh, but of course there is this infamous area. Much nicer cutscene of fucking like Brazil's Christ the Redeemer opening. <clears throat> Except having a few weapons on it. Just a few. There's a modification that they didn't tell anyone to, uh, anybody about. God, I messed up the joke. One of the few places the weird kind of climbing mechanic of this game is actually used. But I'm not sure why this part is here. Oh, you because you get back here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember. One of the things you can pick up here is a hundred percent sure, for sure, a mercury rapier. Which I don't think anybody has ever used. And I shouldn't say that because immediately somebody's gonna be like, hey, this is like my favorite weapon in all of Demon Souls. The mercury rapier. I mean, it does deal poison, so I'm not gonna roast it too much. And again, poison does have, that's the key you need to access the dude. Um, again, poison in this game is, that's what I wanted to say, is pretty useful because as I mentioned, it also halves your healing abilities so like your healing items fill half as little as they normally would which is a, like it's very powerful it's very powerful okay so we're gonna run past this fool for sure fighting him once was plenty enough for my soul and we, the Warden Key definitely is used to, to open Sage Freaks. A little cellul Cellular. God, I've lost the ability to talk. I took a poop break and apparently I forgot how to speak English. In the midst of my poop break. This area though, like, back to what I was saying about it. 
the first time you come through here, it kind of can be a nightmare. Oh, that's still locked? Oh, because you need the special key for that, right? And the special key is along this corridor, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, first time around this area can be a little bit troublesome, I'm not gonna lie. I ran around here like an idiot for a long time. And this is... Oh no, this, is, this leads here. And, hmm, okay. Hold on a second, because everything kind of looks... <laughs> them updated visuals, though, you know, they got me fucked up, too. This leads to the back of the weapon statue. Which also leads to the special area. Because, yeah, there is a fog gate here. And you can go and turn off the statue. Which, if you're feeling like a sneaky little invader, of course you can reactivate. Like, that's your prerogative. It's unlikely to ever happen in a real match, especially since I've heard through the grapevine that due to the PV, like the PS5's lack of availability, this game is pretty. God, that looks good. Because the PS5 is like not available, uh, the online of this game is almost completely dead. Which is kind of a shame because I've never really played Demon's Souls PvP. I played this game kind of late. And a lot of people say that this game has the best PvP, which I kind of find hard to believe due to the fact of the healing system. You're getting murdered so hard. I won't. What do you want? I am going to cause you trouble. Damn it, I couldn't pickaxe him in the back. Fuck. Well there that would have been the perfect time for crit. Oh shit. What the hell is over there? Hold on a second. I don't remember there being treasure on the other side of this dude. But there probably is. Okay, whatever. We got the most important part, which is the boss. The boss? Jesus. I shat out the English from my body. It's not good. Uh, the boss is not gonna endless re endlessly respawn. Which is really all you want. You don't really want anything else from your video game. If this is like motion sickness inducing, I am sorry. Uh, I don't get motion sickness, so... I'm kind of okay with it. But I know a lot of people do. Oh, what? You know, if they really wanted to be tricksters they would make the statue like reactivate after some time that would have been like the ultimate the ultimate make it middle finger listen if i ever get to be a souls game designer which i'm never gonna be but if i ever do man do i have some ideas and this is how you get to the other side there yeah Motion sickness. I'm sorry. This is this would be the perfect time for you to scroll down and leave a comment, you know. And like you you should use the opportunity while I'm 
ascending slash descending those stairs to avoid vomiting. Cool. And I'm almost like 90% sure that one of these is the special key. Silver Catalyst. Imperials. I knew this was something new. And there is no key here. This is a new... This is... This didn't exist before. <gasps> Look at this shit. That is cool. I didn't know they added new sets to this game. I'm liking it. I am liking it a lot. I was just looking for a headpiece too. And I found it. The only thing I have not managed to find is the fucking key to Sage Freak's cell. Freak. Pretty sure it's on the other side, but fuck, that's a long track back. And... Am I too lazy to do it? You know what? I'm going to use the power of editing. I'm gonna be a nice guy and I will spare you the the pain of having to watch me backtrack. So you're just gonna see a cut. Okay, so I backtracked and I'm really hoping it's here. Because if it ain't... It ain't here. God damn it. This is when I would pull up the wiki, um, but I'm not sure. I, I'll, I'll rescue Sage Freak, whatever. Let's later, I mean later. We have plenty of time, he ain't going nowhere, so... Uh, let's just, you know, cut back to where we were. Cool. This is a nice little input. God, I'm, I'm loving the, the skyboxes. The skyboxes are so good in this game now. Don't worry, I'm prepared. I, I know what's up. Oh shit. What I wasn't prepared for is her hitting me through the fucking thing. I didn't get that much damage to be frank. You have a lot of HP. See, the thing is, I realized why I was having issues before. Uh, this weapon does have very short range. And it's not the quickest... E oh, that looks so cool. How it just, like, dissipates. Dissipates? We're using fancy words. I regain my English abilities. Um... Yeah, there are a couple of red phantom and there are more if you go for the quest lines. A lot of the quest lines in this game start or end with an NPC, a red phantom. Usually end. But there are a couple that are just kind of like out in the wild. This is a cool boss. She looks slightly creepy. She wasn't this creepy in the original, actually. Fool's Idol. Unfortunately a gimmick boss. But... The reason this is acceptable is this was the first Souls game. Like, of course they were experimenting with a lot of shit. Is it actually... Did I actually get that lucky? That this is the real one? No, it's not. That's the real one. So 
So what's going on here? Let me break it down. Is that... The little minions always look towards the correct one. No, what the fu- Oh, okay. The magic. It looks so cool. Ouch. The only annoying thing is these traps. Uh, and not in the Gwendolyn way. These traps- what the fuck? She leaves that kind of just like... Uh, stun lock you. I got very lucky with her placement. That was one of the easiest Fool's Idols boss fights I've had in a long time. Because you know, she can teleport all over the place. And sometimes she'll just like end up on the other side of the room. And then it kind of gets a little bit sort of annoying. And of course, if I hadn't killed the little minion guy upstairs, she would just keep respawning. Uh, that's like the main gimmick of this boss fight. Oh, you can actually pick this up now. That's so good. Because normally, like, the trigger for the cutscene used to be way larger. Uh, so it was almost impossible to pick up the baby's nail, which is a strange weapon name, but it is what it is. Without triggering this cutscene, you always had to kind of just like warp back. These guys look grosser than before. They're rougher too. And they just like throw you down. That hood looks so cool. Nice. Alright. Well, that officially wraps up um, World 3-1. As well as wrapping up this episode of Demon Souls. I'm excited for this place. Because this is... This looks so good. But we're going to leave this area for later. Because this is uh, probably one of the hardest areas in the game. Definitely the hardest boss. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap, up, wrap it up here. Going back to the Nexus next time around. Going to be doing some leveling. I'll figure out uh, how to rescue Sage Freak. Yeah, that's about it. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all the usual. Hope you had a good one. Hope you enjoyed. Take care, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.